Hey everyone, just thought I'd do a quick build update on Ice Nova, show you where I've taken it since the last video, show you what I'm doing now, some of the farming strats I've been doing. Um, here is the path of building for what I upgraded to. I got a few upgrades. I got, in fact, I'll just show you in the game. I got 2120 uh, Vol Ice Nova, which helps a lot. I, it took me so many double corrupts to get this. I don't even know how many. I've got a stash tab full of ones ready to double corrupt, and then I finally hit it. So uh, you can ignore my gear right now. This is just me having fun playing around. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this is what I got up to on my path of building. About 85 million DPS, uh, 121,000 EHP. And I've been trying really hard to get my max hit to be good even when my guard skill is down because that's generally when you die with this build is when a mortal call is down um, and 12,000 fizz hit is fairly respectable given what we're what we're using um, I decided to go for more block nodes so I can almost cap my spell block it's one percent away doesn't bother me at all not even a little um, lead shade also helps survive for poison um, dots on the ground other things. Um, I'm also using less recoup since I got rid of glancing blows. I don't really need it as much and I've got so much recovery that I got rid of that through an irrational doctrine that I dropped from Uber Cortex. Um, threw in a small cluster for chaos so that I can cap my chaos res. Um, and then uh, I also got rid of blood notch. I replaced it with rational doctrine. But I am still using Immutable Force. Um, as far as items go, I haven't really made any upgrades on my items. I got a Mage Blood, and I'm using Progenesis now, which stacks pretty well with Corrupted or er, Petrified Blood. Everything else is pretty much the same. And so with this build, I was farming Ubers, I was farming uh, eight mod Corrupted Feared Invitations, and I was killing all of the Ubers to do the feared other than flawless Chayula because that's so expensive and not worth it. Um, I also did like Uber Maven for a while from the writs that I was dropping from doing the feared. Did Uber Exarch, Uber Eater. I don't do Uber Cyrus because I hate that boss fight. Um, I was doing 100% deli maps to farm with skittering deli orbs for a while. Now I'm doing boss rushing. Um, but currently I decided that this is fun and all, but my AOE radius is far too small, so I decided what it, to see how far I could jack that up. I could still get a little bit more. I think I get, could get this over 11 if I go for a level 5 enhance, which is extremely expensive, and also the Heart of Destruction, Forbidden Flesh and Flame, which is also extremely expensive. Um, so I might do that eventually. I'm having a lot of fun with this. As you can see, my life is one point, almost 1.4k. Not good. ES, not good. EHP, not good. DPS is about half of what it was. And the really scary part is if I disable a mortal call, I am dead all of the time. <laughs> but my AOE radius is incredible. Do not recommend this in any shape or form unless you're trying to have a really good time, which I tell you what, I am. Look at this. Um... This is my boss rushing strat that I'm doing. So I'm just using this one sextant over and over again for dropping Conqueror map so that I can sustain them so I don't have to buy them. Taking all of the map duplication nodes, running some essences as I run across them. I'm not hunting them down by any means, doing del delirium mirrors when they show up. And other than that, I'm pretty much just rushing bosses. Before, this was a lot faster, but my AoE is just, it's just so good. I'm like, hey, what if I want to kill that mob, but he's all the way over there? And now I can. Like, the DPS is still respectable. It's not, not terrible by any means. Also, my frost shield, look at this. It's beautiful. Also, I can't see anything, so when Drox tries to smash me with his fists, I just sort of move around and guess where it's going to happen. So 
as you can see, it's not it's not nearly as good, especially not for this content that I'm doing. But the AOE is so big. Um, if you've got questions, feel free to leave, post something in the comments below. Um, I will paste, I will put both of the path of buildings in there just in case you're curious on how to scale your AOE. You can you can go one or the other or take a nice middle ground between the two. I think I'm going to try and fit more AOE in on my my normal build because DPS is high, EHP is fine. I think I could lose a little bit of DPS, throw in some more area of effect. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.